I'm here to tell you why red pill dating advice is stupid. And yes, there's going to be so many clickbaited videos, but I'm here to give you the ultimate truth. All right. Oh, JB, so what makes you think you got the truth? I, hear me out. Relax. I know I know you antsy because you've seen your boys in the title. I know, I know, I know you're mad because you've seen your role models in the title. <laughs> I fucked with them at one point in time too. But the truth may set you free. It will piss you off first, but it's going to set you free. Why red pill dating advice is stupid. Now, I'm not negating on being red pill, blue pill, black pill, purple pill. I don't give a damn what pill you take, <laughs> okay? See, I'm an old soul. I'm 22 years young. I've always been courageous, brave, risky, spontaneous, intellectually inclined, emotionally inclined. You know, I've always had these things in my tool belt. Why? Because I am who I am. <laughs> and on top of that, I've always talked to older men. I've always talked to older people. I've had older friends growing up, talk to the dads, talk to the uncles, grandparents. I've always resonated most with them and their insight because it's like the kids and people in our generation, they lead you astray. That's like me going to you for relationship advice and you got three failed marriages or three failed relationships. Two you got cheated on, two you cheated on her, took her back, and then she took your money and slashed your tires on your car. Come on now, we can't relate. So, I wanna first talk about Steph is cold. All right, shout out to my dog, stay cold, G. All right, Steph is cold is one of the exceptions because I see a lot of times, I watch a lot of his content. And I've seen a lot of times he's talked about spiritual concepts, but he doesn't really want to navigate in those waters because it's going to separate what he really talk, what he really wants to talk about versus his brand. And I get it. It's, it's marketing. You know, we got the Patreon and got the workout videos and shit like that. So if he begins to talk about some of these things and mind you, I'm also not subscribed to the Patreon. So he may have content on there that I don't know about, but what all these YouTubers I'm going to mention in this video have in common is their revengeful heart, bro. That pain is going to keep bringing you down. It's like, so y'all know you have a backpack that you go to the gym with, right? You got your backpack, bro. You always have bricks in it. You always have bricks in a backpack. Some of y'all YouTubers never knew you had bricks in there, but you were just like, oh fuck, it's heavy anyway. So, you know, as they say, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Heavy is the back. He heavy is the back that got the bricks in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So y'all got to realize these dudes have a lot of vengeance in their heart. And we need to get to a place as young men, we need to weed out the people who are giving us false promises and actually wanting us to become more emotionally intelligent, spiritually inclined young men. Because that's what we need as fathers, as uncles, parents, this is what we need. We need men who are more emotionally sound. Now, I don't see too many videos that they're putting out talking about these topics. Cause yeah, that red pill, fuck a bitch. If she not texting you back, she texting somebody else. If you give all your attention to her, she gonna feel turned off and feel icky. And all that shit is cool. All that shit is cool. But where is the actual value at? You feel what I'm saying? Where is the real content? So shout out to Steph is cold, man. But I also got to talk about AMS, Tate, the Tate brothers, Fresh and Funky. I, I got to talk about them because these are older folks. Steph is cold. We around the same age. I'm 22. He, what, 25, 26? We around the same age. Okay? Bro, 
they are AMS, the Tate Brothers, Fresh and Funky Monkey. They are in a sphere where they are 30 plus. They are 30, 35 plus. And they are still so hurt about what these girls did to them. They cannot let it go. So they take out their anger on the women who they disguise as women. They're actually grown girls. They're not, they're not women. They're not actual real women. They are disguised and they get thrown on their podcast and then they dismantle them in a debate about who can become masculine and who can become feminine in the relationship. What that looks like. What Do you know how many dudes operate on a different playing field and their relationships work amazingly? See, YouTube got y'all mental algorithm fucked up. YouTube got y'all fucked up, bro. This is not how women, actual women are in real life. Now, I'm not saying that some of their shit doesn't have truth to it. Do not take this out of context. I'm a real life intellect. Do not take me out of context. I'm just here to let you know how most of the dating advice in the red pill sphere is stupid. It's teaching you and morphing you into somebody who is loud, revengeful, deceitful, too sneaky. And I'm saying that because I've been there. Duh. You become sneaky by, by default of what you've been listening to. And then they're going to be like, oh, well, you shouldn't be on the internet if you are going to be so connected and so diluted into a creator on the space just talking about their experiences. Yo, yo, that's so easy to say for you, right? Any lane that y'all want to argue the points with that I'm mentioning, I got y'all figured out. I got all of y'all figured out. And I know a lot of y'all crawling and y'all ready to type in the comments. And y'all ready to just be like, this nigga don't know what the hell he's talking about. Trust me, I know what I'm saying. I'm really big on emotional intelligence, being a effective, concise communicator, and not misusing people for your benefit. That's what I'm big on. That's what I'm big on. So you tell me if I fit in the red pill space. You tell me. We need to use the sermon, y'all. <laughs> we need to think. Just because they make videos about working out and they yell and they scream does not mean they are correct. I said in the last video, just because she looks good to you does not mean she is a good fit for you. It's the same with these YouTubers. They got, they got millions, hundred thousand subscribers across multiple different platforms. But trust me when I say, is their message spiritually sitting right with you that's i'm just telling y'all to ask questions at least do that don't just don't just take the face value of these creators who copy and paste videos from each other don't just take the face value and run with it that's the same thing y'all did with tate and i've been saying years back i've been saying since 2022 i've been saying this everybody is going to fall for the smoke and mirrors Y'all are all going to fall for the smoke and mirrors because I'm going to be honest too. Deep down, Tate really wants to talk about spiritual, philosophical concepts. He does. But him being loud, oh, fuck that bitch. Oh, fuck her. Get fucking rich. Do more. <laughs> it's not always about doing more, Tate. I'm going to make sure I'm doing less to accomplish more. I'm not going to put my focus into this, 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 and this and get 5% back on my investment. No, I'm going to focus on these two things right here. Blocking that out over there, blocking that out. I'm staying 100% focused. And I'm not I'm not building this, this weird, cocky, stoic statue, everybody admire, look at me type of statue so everybody can... No, we're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. 
I don't care about flexing to other men. I care about communicating effectively and concisely with other men. How can we build? Because you want to flex on me something that I don't have. That's what you really want to do. Because I'm convinced a lot of y'all don't want to flex for women. That's how it used to be. Y'all want to flex for the dudes. Look at drama. Look at look at these kids in a red in a red pill space. They regurgitate the same points. You don't got this. Well, I just think you being a culture vulture. Well, I just think you being racist. Well, I think you just misusing these girls for content. You just taking these talking points and just making it your own and yelling about it. It it's the same sad song. But who is talking about emotional intelligence? Learning how to communicate precisely as best as you can to other people. Women, men, teachers, kids. You don't have to yell to get your point across. If y'all haven't got nothing from this video, just know. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. All respect, all love. Shout out to him. I don't watch any of the content anymore. I don't consume none of that because I don't want it to consume me. And y'all shouldn't either. But most of the red pill dating advice is stupid. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Holler back at your boy. And I'll catch y'all next one, man. It's JB. And I'm out.